I'm totally stunned by this incredible honor for which I thank you. My immediate impulse is to say, I don't deserve this. I was only doing my job. But then my second thought is that really I have to share this award with many people. Theater criticism is like any other kind of theater work. You do not do it alone. Um, this award belongs partly to Jerry Talmer, who invented the OBs, and a great deal of it belongs to the late Ross Whetstone, who sustained the OBs and presided over them for many years, and who also was the person who hired me at The Voice in 1971. Also, this award belongs partly to my mentors, Bob Brustein, Alvin Epstein, Stanley Kaufman, and Gordon Rogoff, and Eric Bentley. Uh, that's a list that includes two Lifetime Achievement OB winners and three OB, former OB judges. Uh, it belongs partly also to a long string of Village Voice theater editors who presided over the OBs in their turn and who so often saved me from making an idiot of myself in print. I can't tell you how grateful I am to them. It belongs to many, many colleagues and other voice editors and staffers who challenged my ideas and made me rethink what I was doing and why the hell I was doing it. Um, but most of all, this award belongs to the artists, thousands and thousands of them, who've made me see the world differently and made me think about it differently. Um, without you, we wouldn't exist. The, the art of criticism is dependent on the other arts. It's the only one that's totally dependent on you. So when I think about all that, when I think back on all, all of what this award means, and I realize that even though it's going to bear my name, it isn't about me. I'm being honored for doing something that I love to do, and uh, I'm proud and happy to share this honor with everybody who helped me, encouraged me, guided me through it, pushed me to do better. So when I look back and I think about all of this, I realize that even though in the future this award is going to bear my name, it isn't about me. I'm being honored for doing something that I love to do, and I'm proud and happy to share that honor with so many people who've inspired me, guided me, and pushed me to do better. We live in terrible isolation these days. I don't mean the isolation brought on by the virus, but the much worse one brought on by selfishness, of which we see, unfortunately, so much evidence in the people currently running our country. For me, the theater is all about giving, not taking. And once we all can 
get together and work again on Zoom or however we manage it. Theater is one of the best ways to show people that giving is the reason we're here. Giving is the central principle of life. It, it's why we exist, to share with others. And people say an actor takes the stage, but that wouldn't be of much use if the actor couldn't give a performance. I've spent my life trying to all my all uh, in all my work I've, I've tried to give people something the worth having and I'm incredibly grateful for at this moment <laughs> I I'm incredibly grateful for all the people who've given me something back. My thanks go to this year's OB judges and to the American Theater Wing, but most of all, I thank you, all of you, for being in the theater and for helping it to give me so much. I'm doing my best to return that blessing and I always will. I thank you. Thank you all again and again very, very much.